Hey guys, hope you all had a good week. I was looking through my videos and reading the comments, as I like to spend the rest of the week doing, of course, and I spotted this. Uh, brilliant, thank you so much. I have been refurbishing Dell and Spire on 5570 and 5770 laptops that have the CAL LAF114P motherboard. I have learned how to repair the PSID circuit and have replaced a shorted power jack. Now, I'm faced with a classic issue when the charger goes into protection mode due to a short on the main power rail. Okay, and below that, I I asked a question and the subscriber came back with, I tried injecting one volt at one amp at the resistor, but the voltage on the bench power supply did not drop very much. Uh, down here, I tried increasing from one amp to 2.5 amps and nothing got warm on the board. Now this comment was posted underneath my Dell Vostro 3590 simulating a short on the main 19 volt power rail video. In this video, I get one of these, you know, generic modern day Dells and I introduce a short on the 19 volt power rail. How I do this is by taking a known shorted capacitor and replacing a good capacitor on the 19 volt power rail. So what I do then is I take some notes on how the laptop reacts when there's an, a short on the 19 volt power rail and then I bring the viewer through the process of what I would do using voltage injection to find the fault and then how to resolve it. So that's the video that um, this subscriber was viewing when they posted a comment. So I thought it would be interesting to see if I could bring this subscriber through the process of repairing uh, the fault merely by just you know back and forth with emails. So I'm going to bring you through what happened. I just realized I've outed myself as being an Elton John fan here as well. Sacrifice and The One are my two favorites just in case anybody's wondering. Elton John's brilliant. So I emailed uh, the subscriber, Dana, and I asked for a synopsis of the fault as he observed it. Now, he was able to give me good details on this, but I've created just a synopsis of it right here. So on this laptop, the resistance at the current sense resistor, PRB02, is 0 0.2 ohms. So as he said initially, with the light going off in the charger, it, it does appear that there is a short on the motherboard. He's also observed that PQB11, this is the first MOSFET, uh, this looks discolored and he is already sort of way ahead of the game on this he understands how voltage injection works and he has injected one volt at two amp at the current sense resistor but nothing is warming up so let's just take a look at how that looks on the schematic we have a schematic for LAF114P right here so this is where our DC comes in it comes through the jack and a couple of you know uh, filtering components and then appears right here on PQB11. Now this is the first MOSFET that he said looks discolored. Uh, it then is carried on. We should be seeing 19 volts here. Uh, if this is switched on we should be seeing 19 volts right here and we should be seeing 19 volts here as well. These are our two MOSFETs on the input and this is our current sense resistor. So what he's saying to me is that he measures the resistance, obviously with the power switched off, and he's getting 0 0.2 ohms at this point here, which certainly sounds like it's shorted. So what he has already done is he has injected 1 volt at 1 amp, all the way up to 2.5 amps. He is touching around the board and is feeling that nothing is getting warm. And he does not have a terminal camera, which I don't have either. A terminal camera in this scenario can be useful because it can detect better than the human touch if there is a component warming up. So that's where we are with this. PQB11 looks discolored. 0 0.2 ohm resistance on PRB02. He's injecting one amp at two and a half, sorry, he's injecting one volt at two and a half amps at this point right here, but nothing is warming up. So what advice should I give at this point? I think it's interesting just to ask that question of yourself here. Having watched a few of my videos, and no doubt Soren and Alex and all of the other YouTubers who have infinitely better channels than me, what would you suggest to do at this point? Now would actually be a good time to pause the video and write down your own suggestions. But here are two suggestions that I've come up with. So given that he described PQB11 as looking uh, discolored, 
I suggest it would be a good idea just to check for shorts in that area as well. So you check for short before PQB11 and between PQB11 and PQB12. That's the first suggestion. The second suggestion that I emailed is to increase the amount of current being injected from 2.5 amps to 3 amps and see if anything on the board warms up then. If nothing warms up then, increase it in steps of 500 milliamps up to 3.5 amps, 4 amps, 4.5 amps, etc, etc. That was the suggestion and I emailed that to Dana. I thought it would be useful at this point to show on the actual motherboard itself where we are injecting the voltage. This, as you can see, is our CAL60 LAF114P motherboard. This is the identical motherboard to the one that Dana has. So, you can see we've PQB11 here, PQB12 here, and this is our power resistor. Apologize, uh, apologies for the quality of this. This is uh, I don't have this motherboard, so I've had to take a lower quality image off the internet. But this is the part of the circuit that we're dealing with here, which corresponds to this is PQB11, this is PQB12, and here is where the low resistance is being measured, so PRB02. So Dana is injecting right here, which corresponds to PRB02 right here. So you would have your power supply, you would ground your black probe, connect your voltage uh, right here, and then we're putting up one volt at three amps. Okay, so that is my suggestion. Just in case anybody has that same board and wants to do the same thing, this is how it actually looks on the motherboard itself. So that's my suggestion. I sent off my suggestion to Dana and waited for a response. So after a few hours I got a response to my email and Dana said that he checked at PQB11 to see if there was any shorts around that area and there was none, there was high resistance there. He also checked for shorts on all of the inductors on the secondary power rails and there was no shorts on that either so it looks like we're dealing with just the one short on the main 19 volt power rail. So again he went back to voltage injection and this time increased the current that was being injected from 2.5 to 3 amps and when he did that one particular section of the motherboard became warm to the touch. Sometimes it can be just as discreet as that like a half an amp or an amp can be the difference between an area not heating up and actually heating up so that you can identify which part is shorted. Now he cleverly sent me a video of this so we can all view what happened as well and I have that video right here. So the section of the motherboard that heated up when he injected 3 amps is this area right here. So it's close to PUI02. So there are a number of smaller components right here. So what he did was he came with some alcohol and dabbed it on this area. This is a known technique for trying to flush out which component is, is getting the hottest. So when he did that, this is what he observed. So as you can see, he's dabbing the alcohol around the area and it is immediately evaporating. So the question in this scenario is from which component is it evaporating most quickly? And as you can see, the way it, it's progressing from the bottom up here. So to me, it looks like it's one of these components right here. Let's just go back to the start with this. So once again, he's dabbing the alcohol on it. And you can see right here, see how quickly it's evaporating from these two components down here. So it looks like it's one of these capacitors right here. Having watched that video, I sent an email response and in that email response I included this image and I said that the capacitor with the red arrow pointing to it seems to be the one that is evaporating the alcohol most quickly. When you dab that section with alcohol you can see that that capacitor the alcohol does not reside in that capacitor for any period of time whereas the other components in that area the alcohol does sit on top of them for a short period of time before slowly evaporating but not this one right here it immediately evaporates the alcohol and that looks to me like the one that's shorted so I would be removing that a couple of hours later Dana sent me a response to say that he had removed that capacitor and the short was now gone he plugged in the power lead and the laptop powered on So I guess just to reiterate what we did to flush out that faulty component was we injected the voltage at this point right here. Once we did that, 
it was easy to identify the capacitor that was uh, blown. Um, I didn't expect this to be so easy to be honest I've seen other people where they've tried to help subscribers on their channels and it's not been easy at all. I know Soren had a let's help a subscriber as well which didn't really turn out that successful. I think there was a bit of a language barrier and I think it's harder to do it in real time as well. Whereas when you're sending emails back and forth, it's almost like playing chess with somebody, you know, you I take a move, he takes a move and you, it's, it's a bit easier to structure rather than trying to live stream it. But look, this is something unique. I'm not sure how this is gonna look. You can all tell me in the comments below if this is something that we should try again. Um, I think this worked out successfully for a couple of reasons. Number one, the fault was a relatively easy fault and number two then is quite competent at doing this stuff he really just he he was almost there himself and hopefully this video will give him the confidence to um be able to you know if you can do this once you can do this again the same procedure on another laptop any component that's shorted you can flush it out in the same way that we've done here but you can let me know in the comments below I may have another video this weekend because I've uh, a couple of things that came in this week for repair I'll try and see if I can get something else up but please let me know in the comments down below if this is something you'd like to see again and I'll catch you in the next video thank you